Okay, so it looks like the time is finally upon us where we're gonna see reviewers having the 2080 cards in their hands to do the actual testing and show the number. But the biggest complaint that everybody has and through all my videos, I keep getting all these people saying, you're paid off, you're an NVIDIA shill. Um, that's just crazy. If you ever watch the video, I'd never ever have once suggested buying these cards. All I ever do is bring guys the facts and tell you stuff, but you seem to, I don't know, miss, miss get the information in your head of what I'm saying. I do not say, oh, go out and buy the RTX 28 or the 28 Ti or the 2070. I've never said that. I'm not endorsing that. Now, I think the big, big problem here though is misconception and this is completely nvidia's fault for not being more direct with the public nvidia on their release should have showed a lot more scores of what the cards were doing instead of leaving this giant open gap for speculation for people to talk crap and just throw stones and honestly nvidia this is your fault for not giving information like a lot of times people just don't know what is going on now here's what i think is going on let me just rewind just a little bit here when a 1080 first came out, the Founders Edition was about $699. And when the video card craze went with all the miners, those cards are being sold for about $1,500 on eBay and selling like hotcakes. Gamers couldn't get their hands on a card whatsoever. You guys know it. I know it. Everybody made videos about it. We made videos about it. You also endorsed those videos so that you guys agree that that was a really crappy thing, that we couldn't get these cards for affordability. But now we're seeing the 28, the standard version, coming out to market at $800. Okay, so let's just stop right there. The 1080 at launch, $699. 2080 Founders Edition at launch, let me clarify that Founders Edition, is $799. So there's really only a $100 difference between the 1080 launch and the 2080 launch. People are freaking out about the numbers and going, oh my God, Nvidia, man, you are the fucking devil, man. Oh my God, the prices. Well, check this out. How much did a TI card cost? $12.99, correct? Even when they had the aftermarket ones with all the Star Wars stuff and all that stuff, they were $12.99. Well, the thing is, NVIDIA, I believe, is phasing away the Titan. The 2080 Ti is pretty much going to become the Titan Edition. The only difference is, instead of waiting to release stuff, everything is just pretty much being thrown out almost at the exact same time, which is very, very strange. So if you look at it from that aspect, the 2080 Ti, if it's replacing a Titan at $1299, you're basically getting a Titan at $1299. There's a lot of misconceptions going out there. People are like, oh my God, NVIDIA is robbing us and ripping us off. But if you really look at the numbers, it depends on how they're going to correlate to the products being released. Now, if later on down the road, these guys at NVIDIA and release a Titan card and try to even up the price, that to me will really, really be the severest slap in the face for gamers. Because let's just face it, at $12.99, only elitist gamers and those type of people are going to be able to buy these cards because let's just face it, at $12.99, most people around the world can't afford to buy that type of video card. That type of video card is at the very top of the price range. I mean, if you're a developer, you buy a Quadro card, you see these cards are three to fucking $10,000, lots of money. So at $12.99, if it's going to replace the Titan, then that's not bad. But if NVIDIA is going to have that really as just the TI and then release a Titan later on, that's really going to suck. But as it is right now, what I'm kind of hearing is that the Titan's going to be phased out. And so the 2080, you know, the RTX 2080 Ti is pretty much the new Titan. So instead of being titanium edition or whatever, it'll probably just be the Titan edition. Now, I don't know this for an absolute fact because like I said, stuff's constantly coming out, more information's constantly coming out. The cards are just coming out right now. Like I said, the reviewers will have them in their hands. We're gonna have lots of tests for you guys, lots of games, lots of comparisons and different stuff just to show you exactly what these cards are about. We'll see if you know ray tracing actually really does make a big difference, but first you have to get those cards in hand. Now, I don't agree with the pricing. I wanna be very clear about this. If the TI is just a TI. If the 2080 
TI is just a TI card, it's not a replacement for the, for, for, for the Titan, then I think that's really shitty and piss poor of NVIDIA because it's going to make the gaming world really expensive to get into. But if you look at the other SKUs, the 2080, the 2070, these cards aren't really coming to market that much more expensive than the previous generation. It's about $100 more. And you guys know there's such a thing called inflation. So the more expensive that the die is to make, the more expensive the cards are to get to the market. It's been two years. So you don't think that electronics parts that, that, are, that are like high-end R&D stuff aren't going to cost a little bit more? They are. And when you're looking at it from that aspect and you only see, you know, a hundred dollar difference between the previous generation's release and this release, that's not really that much money. Now the TI at double the price of a 1080 Ti, yes, I agree completely. If that's how things are, that's really crappy and shady of Nvidia. I don't agree with it whatsoever. I will be making negative videos about that, but I'm really hoping, this is what I'm really hoping for, that these will actually be the Titans. 28 Ti, hopefully will be the new Titan. Hopefully we won't see a Titan. Only time will tell. But as far as pricing goes right now, the lower end cards, or not even the lower end cards, the newer cards, the 28 to the 2070, their prices are not double what they were on the previous launch by any means. They're like $100 more. The only card that is so outrageously priced is the RTX 2080 Ti. And if that card, like I said, will be replacing the Titan, then that's not a bad price point whatsoever. That's exactly where Titans were sold before. So that is actually right in the right around price range. Um, like I said, a lot of misconceptions going on. NVIDIA should have been a lot clearer with where these cards are going to be placed, what markets they're going to be into. Um, the touring technology for me, this entire release, I don't know, it just kind of feels weird. I don't think this stuff's even going to be around that long whatsoever. Plus, there is the very fact that NVIDIA last year made a shit ton of 1080 Ti's and cards, hoping that the miners would buy those cards up. Well, check it out. All those cards are pretty much still out there. So if NVIDIA makes the cards a little bit more expensive and people want to pay that, well, then hopefully they'll go back and buy all those previous generation cards and clear NVIDIA stock off the wall. That's probably a lot of that going on as well. A lot of things me and you just plain and simply don't see. From our end, we just see the prices, the video cards, and we want them to put in our systems, and that's kind of where we're at in our world. We're not sitting on the board. We don't know the cost of bringing those cards to the market. We don't know any of that stuff. For all of us, it's just a lot of speculation. So where NVIDIA really messed up, they sure showed a lot lot more scores during the launch people all this has created this big giant vacuum which has been filled by rumor after rumor after rumor i mean like i said in my last video some people even told me there's no such thing as ray tracing i was like okay really why well, stuff's just getting really really crazy when there's no such thing now as ray tracing so some people are on the fringe they don't really know what's going on they're just really angry about the prices honestly if the ti ends up being just a ti at 1300 bucks i'm with you man that is a complete ripoff and not worth your cash whatsoever but if it is a titan replacement then the price is pretty much aligned in what it should be so hey thanks for watching the video like usual i always want to hear your guys opinions down below so let's clarify real clearly i do not agree with the high price of the 2080 rtx ti right now don't agree with it the only thing that'll make it better at the end of the day is it is a titan replacement if it's not then hey nvidia is kind of sucking right now peace